What up gamers? It's your boy King Thrash back at it once again with another video. Remember to like, subscribe, don't like, don't subscribe. Show your true colors and grip your sister's shoulder at Disneyland because you scared of the little bitch ass ride that you on, you scary ass nigga. Do what you do! Scary cuz. What's going on with this gaming news? Today we got uh well not really today, I'm gonna just start off light. You know what I'm saying? Um Nintendo Switch, big ups to Nintendo Switch, you know they they doing the thing thing. They doing the thing, dang. They they sold what two two point two point four million or some shit two point one two some big ass two point something million consoles sold in, in in the month of March. And um, that's fucking right along the lines of what the fuck I said it was gonna do. Cause let's face it, all all consoles sell well in their first month. You know what I'm saying? I think um, PlayStation, Xbox did the same thing in their first month. You know what I'm saying? They hit about two mil, and they hit about two mil. What makes it significant, though, is that Nintendo is back on track with that because people are still wanting it. The hype is still there for Nintendo. No matter how much Microsoft and shit want to make you look at specs, at the, at the end of the day, the least powerful console is more attractive than the Scorpio right now. And people are going out and buying it. And you best believe in Christmas, people are going to go out and buy it. This, this motherfucker is... This is a whole new dynamic. This is no longer Wii U, Xbox, and PlayStation. Nah, nigga. This is the Switch, the Pro, and the Scorpio. And the Pro and the Scorpio are basically PlayStation 4s and Xboxes. So you can basically only get Switch games with a Switch. You know what I'm saying? Like people, It's significant, man, because it's, the, it's a new console compared to these upgraded consoles. So where if you have that console, you don't really need to upgrade. You, you still won't play the same games. Whereas the Wii U, they don't even make games for it no more. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you can get Zelda on the Wii U. I understand that. It looks better on the Switch, but you can get it on the Wii U. But that is the final game that you're going to be able to fucking get. You know what I'm saying? And it's not portable. It's the only portable Zelda. And, and also big ups to the Switch because Digital Foundry recently did a, 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 a little, little test on um, the Xbox, PS4, and Switch versions of Lego Undercover. Now, nigga, I ain't a Lego nigga, so I can't give two fucks. I don't give a fuck about it. But looking at the numbers, you know, the Switch actually held its own. The Switch, the weakest console, held its own. That is great news because Nintendo have... It's a handheld, like... Understand, this shit is a fucking handheld console. And it's a handheld. Basically, you got a PS4, Xbox One in your fucking hands. This shit's going to sell, nigga. When games start really dropping, when Mario Kart drop in a few weeks, it's going to be a, it's gonna be not, it's gonna be something else. It's going to be something else. Well, not next week, in like two weeks. But it's going to be something else. Next week for me, nigga. Next week for me. I need to call and see if they motherfuckers might already got this shit low-key. But... But, um, you know, that's significant. And this, this holiday season, it's going to be crazy. The Scorpio is not going to outsell the motherfucking Switch. I guarantee it, bro. Especially if the price is bad. It's not The PS4 Pro is not going to outsell the Switch, man. Mario coming out? Oh, no. It's, it's a wrap, bro. Like, it's already that hype. It, it, you got that, that, that Nintendo 64 type hype when it first came out. And they just, it was just a little bit of them. And, Everybody wanted one of those motherfuckers. And the same thing goes with the Switch, man. My homies and shit, niggas is like, nigga, I need that Switch. My nigga, I need that Switch. Hey, bring your Switch over, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because niggas is interested in this shit. And people are inter interested in the motherfucker Scorpio. Don't get me wrong, but it's just, this is, it, I see casuals. I see motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about the console war, even know that it's a war going on. You know what I'm saying? That want the Switch. So if Nintendo don't fuck it up, if they don't fuck it up, it can be a good thing. It can be a great thing. What else cracking in gaming news? Phil Spitzer recently said that um, they're going to announce the Scorpio at E3. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? Of course, this goes all under the bridge with all Xbox fanboys. Xbox fanboys are going to ignore this because they know that that is bad news because 
this entire time that there has not been games for the Xbox, they say wait till E3. And now you know what we're waiting for E3 for? The reveal of the Scorpio. So, what the fuck is my question on that? It's like, who who does that anymore? Nobody reveals consoles at E3 no more, my nigga. We reveal games at E3. You don't reveal consoles at E3 anymore, man. Like, they doing that because they don't have games to show. They got games, but they don't got games. You understand what I'm saying? Like, people are just now getting the dev kits, and they all, oh, we got the dev kits, and it's, it's even, it's stupid because motherfuckers are talking about the specs inside of a dev kit, not understanding that a uh, dev kit has always been more powerful than the actual console, because, you know, overhead and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got certain little things, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's like, people... Xbox fans really are getting too wrapped up into the spec shit, which Microsoft wants. Wants obviously they're selling it with specs. They're not even selling it with games. They're selling it with specs. People are just like, oh day one, oh day one. I'm like nigga, why would you be day one when you have seen nothing of significance? All you've seen is the actual power. So what? So what? The fuck do that mean? Like nigga, they need games and and them announcing this at E3. Proves it ain't gonna have no games. You know what else is a bad sign for Microsoft at E3? The actual space that they have to show off these games they're supposed to have. They have a small amount of space. The Nintendo Switch has a large amount of space. The PlayStation has a large amount of space. Xbox has the same amount of space as fucking, fucking Ubisoft or Activision. You know what I'm saying? And and we already know what they're going to talk about. They're going to talk about Crackdown, most likely. If they don't, if they aren't going to delay it, they're going to talk about it at E3 at least. Maybe, maybe a, a release date, because we have no release dates for none of these old-ass games that they're probably releasing. And yes, I call them old because they have not announced a new game for how long now? What's the last game they announced? Was it Sea of Thieves? Was Sea of Thieves the last game they announced? How long, was it, how long ago was that? How, I mean, like, really think about this shit, my niggas. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, nigga. What AAA IP have they announced since last C3? And what did they announce at last C3? Hmm? What did they talk about at last C3? <laughs> I don't even know. What, Recore, nigga? Gears? Forza Horizon? And Scorpio. And Xbox S. You understand what I'm saying? Like these niggas are we are talking about consoles more than games at E3, and this is gonna be the second E3 in a row that they talk about a goddamn console. This is the first time that type of shit's happening, and nobody sees this shit. Why am I alone? I look around and see no one, except except some of the homies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> except some of the homies. You know what I'm saying? We be commenting on my shit because they be talking. I be speaking real shit. Some of them be getting a little bit harsh with their shit, but at the end of the day, my nigga, it's real shit, man. Like, this is, like, real shit. It's like, when are, when are these gamers are going to become gamers? Nigga, why y'all mad at us for asking you where your games is at? Nigga, where is your games? How you mad, nigga? Like, nigga, sell me an Xbox. That's niggas asking, hey, sell me an Xbox. How you going to do it? What you going to say, six teraflops? I'll slap the shit out of your ass. Six teraflops? Oh, God, 4K? Well, I didn't give a fuck about 4K. Have you seen Horizon? That shit is not native 4K, my nigga. It is not native 4K, and it's sexy as a motherfucker. It's sexy as a motherfucker. Persona ain't even in the 4K level. Nigga, I don't even think it uses the pro, and that shit is sexy than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zelda is what? Nigga, 900p or some shit? That shit 900p, and it's sexy than a motherfucker. We don't give a fuck about 4K. I mean, we give a fuck. People want 4K, especially PC niggas. That's usually like a PC thing. You know, they like 4K and they're not even going to like the fucking Scorpio because the frames is going to be still the same as the Pro. It's not going to do anything. You know what I'm saying? So, them having to sit at E3 and, and, and from the looks of it, they're not going to have no games. Unless they don't say shit about Crackdown. They don't say shit about Forza 7. They don't say shit about backwards compatibility. They don't say shit about Sea of Thieves. They don't say shit about Cuphead. And they don't say shit about motherfucking Blow, nigga. 
then maybe they'll have some time to talk about some games. And these motherfuckers talking about, oh, the reveal is only going to take five minutes. I'm like, nigga, I've been talking for 10 minutes right now. Right now, nigga, this video has been 10 minutes so far. You mean a motherfucker tell me they're going to do that shit? They're going to talk about the Scorpio and its price and its specs they didn't talk about and and the motherfucking controller it come with and showing off the box and, and different shit. You know what I'm saying? In, in five minutes and half the time I've been talking right now? You crazy. You crazy. What are they going to say? This is the Scorpio. This is the box. Does it come with a, 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 a small box on the outside? No. Look at this fan right here. Then they're going to say, oh, nigga, and it costs $700, and then we're going to move on to the game. They ain't going to do it that quick, nigga. I'm not saying it cost $700. At, at, at what's, from what's inside of it, it should cost $499.99, which is already too expensive. But then, on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, I feel like since I think it's going to be $499.99, that it's going to be $599.99. Just like when I saw the Xbox One. When I saw the Xbox One, nobody thought that that game, should, that motherfucker system should have been 500 bucks. It should not have been 499.99. It shouldn't have been because it was not as strong as the PlayStation 4. And we knew this. We knew it wasn't as strong as the PlayStation 4. So when we saw that price, we was like, oh shit, well how much fucking PlayStation gonna cost then? Fuck! Damn, PlayStation gonna cost more than that because it got more power. That's what niggas was thinking, and then when they announced a cheaper price, and that that's when that's why the crowd roared so loud. That's why Microsoft's motherfucking conference was so quiet when they announced that motherfucking price. And the motherfucking PlayStation shit, they warned you could hear that shit all the way across the motherfucking whole E3 because of that price. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm I thought it was gonna be cheaper. I thought honestly, I thought it was gonna be the same price as the PlayStation 4, at the least same price. With the Connect, same fucking price. But it wasn't. It was $100 more. So now that it's actually more powerful than the motherfucking Pro, how, how much are they going to charge? The Pro is, for, is $399, so if they don't, if they go with $399, then, nigga, then what have you done? Nigga, I mean, that's good. It'd be good. Don't get me wrong. It'd be good. But then that'll be also saying that PlayStation is a premium console. Just like your premium price console for premium gamers. <laughs> premium gamers. Nigga, 4K. 4K only crazy oh yeah recently nintendo had a direct i should have said this shit in the beginning they had nintendo direct and they you know they got a nice little set of games coming out with actual dates or actual at least nigga date sections but they got a, a good amount of games came that, that they talked about just that direct they still haven't even got to the e3 yet you know what i'm saying playstation is announcing games without e3 and nintendo is announcing games without e3 microsoft need to start getting their game up and doing a goddamn thing but Nintendo Direct, you know what I'm saying, it has some, you know, games that show some more ARMS characters and shit like that and different customizations you could do on ARMS. Me, I like ARMS. I think I think ARMS is going to be tight, to be honest. I'm not going to be punching that air, though. You got me fucked up. I don't punch that air. I'm using the controllers, nigga. I'm not doing more exercise than I need to do. You got me fucked up. I work full time. You got me fucked up. You think I'm going to work playing the game. I don't understand Nintendo with that shit. But, you know, they got that. They show some Mario. They show some... Some uh, Splatoon. I'm not really into Sp Splatoon, but I might check him out this time. I didn't check him out in the Wii, the Wii U. I mean, I didn't check him out. Um, but I might check him out this generation. You know, just for the Switch and shit. Check him out. I heard it was good. It was a decent little, little soft first-person shooter. I'll check that out. Speaking of first-person shooters, Star Wars Battlefront Two has been announced, and it looks sexy as fuck. Yeah, it looks sexy as a motherfucker. Did you see it? I mean, it always looked sexy, though. Like, like Battlefront always looked it sexy. It's just now that they got a motherfucking single player, I'm on board 100%. That was the... I was not on board la with the last one. I bought the shit, played it three times, and that was it. I was just too turned off because it didn't have a fucking single player. How the fuck do you have a Star Wars game without no motherfucking single player? It makes exactly zero sense. Zero sense. Especially when all the past Battlefronts that was on PC had a single-player experience. It made zero sense to make that motherfucker multiplayer only. And I'm happy as fuck. I will buy it day one simply because of that. And then I call, and then to add to the hype, they had the Star Wars trailer too. I'm, you know, I'm watching that on Christmas Day. My girl don't even like Star Wars. Something's wrong with her. I know. I know. I know. She has a disease or something wrong with her brain. I don't know. 
Something's low, slowly eating at her shit. I don't know. But that shit coming out, and that shit gonna be fire. When I, I'm gonna watch that shit for sure, for sure, for sure. I'm on that. For sure. Oh. But, the, you know, they, they, they announced the game. They announced it has, the, the, it's gonna follow canon and all that. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be part of the dark side and shit. You know what I'm saying? Another video game. Niggas is a bad guy and shit, but, you know, it's, it's, it looks like a good concept. You know, the main character, she look kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? She taggable. I'll take one for the team. It's nothing. But, um, that's a good announcement. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to see that. Um, PlayStation got the marketing rights. So, I mean, that's another game that ain't going to be showing that Microsoft. <laughs> that's fucked up. Let me not, <laughs> let me not say that shit. I'm just disappointed in that shit, but. At the end of the day, man, um, um, it's a good time to be a gamer, man. It's the best month, best months. It's located like the best year in gaming, as far as games are concerned. It's been some big, big time games, and if Microsoft would have set their games up, it would have been historic, man. Like if them niggas actually had, this should think if these niggas actually had games. Do you know how great the competition would be right now? Oh my God, God, just God, just damn, get off your ass, Microsoft, please. Damn, join the fun. Xbox gamers, join us. Join us. Nigga, if, if, if the Xbox not doing for you, then greatness awaits. You feel me? If Xbox is not doing it for me, for you, greatness, nigga, awaits. Read between the lines. Come on through. Or get you a Switch. In the order, nigga. The Switch is a, is, is a secondary console. Get that. Get that. Enjoy something. Enjoy something. You enjoying Black Ops 2 right now. Ain't that a bitch? You're not even enjoying it no more, are you? Nigga, you even already stopped playing it. You already got tired of it. And this shit. Nigga, you weak ass nigga. All right. Let's get through ass game and signing off. Like, subscribe. Don't like. Don't subscribe. Don't stand next to your homie and feel chain not as big as his. Broke ass niggas. Let's get through ass game and signing off. I'm gone.